you're talking to a FISBO and they do not like realtors. And usually with FISBOs, it's because they think that realtors make too much money and they want to maximize the amount of profits that they get. So what you're going to do with this type of seller is you may not be able to close them on the very first phone call and you got to be okay with that. You have to know that you got to build a relationship first in order for them to trust you. So how you do that is you eventually get an appointment with them. Try and go see their house. Be like, hey, look, I know you're trying to save money on, on expenses. That's why I'm assuming why you don't want to use an agent. Totally fine. I can give you resources actually to help you sell the house by yourself. If I bring a buyer though, because I would like to market your property to my pool of buyers, would you be willing to pay a buyer's agent fee? And typically for sale by owners are going to say, well, yeah, because you know, you're, you're bringing the buyer to them, right? So great. I would love to come take a look at the house. Go to the house. Give them some helpful pointers about them selling the house on their own and build a relationship, right? And then at that point, you will open the door to be able to talk with them about numbers and say, hey, look, I know I can get you more exposure on your house and the stats show and, and do the stats in your area for how much more houses that sell with a realtor, how much more they sell on average than someone selling it themselves and say, hey, these are the stats. Like, that's just the reality. If I can actually get you more for your property and, and have that increase uh, pay for, my fees would that be something of interest to you because I can get this exposed to more people if you let me list it for you so you can't just come out with that script right away you got to build a relationship first build the trust and then talk numbers with them so that they actually are open ears and open heart to listen to you